Hello everyone, this is Franklin with uh, HCC Linear Algebra for 2019. This Python code um, is meant to solve a problem that the professor gave in class. It was an extra problem where we had to draw a graph um, with nodes connecting to each other. Um, and uh, I'm not going to describe the rules of the game or the, the rules of drawing the, the code the different nodes and connecting them together but all I know is that uh, every node has to be connected to um, every other node in the graph and uh, the different arcs connecting each node are unidirectional so they are not two-way traffic they are just one way and so I try with five nodes so we are going to run the code with five nodes uh, with five nodes, that's what we get. The speed is pretty fast. So the speed is, so the speed is, the slowest is one, uh, the second to the fastest is 10, and then the fastest is zero. So we're going to put the speed at 10. 10 is slower than zero. It's kind of where you expect 10 to be the fastest, but zero is the fastest. Um, we are going to choose seven nodes now. So, for seven nodes, we have to close the turtle. Let me clear the screen and uh, let me widen this a little bit. Uh, so, for seven nodes, it's pretty fast. And that's it. It draws and uh, we're going to close this for... We have to change the number of nodes. Let's try nine nodes. And after that, we're going to try 19 nodes just to see um, to see what the code will do. I use the library called uh, Turtle. Uh, for those who are familiar with Python, um, it's a very good uh, library to be able to test certain things. Uh, we are going to try, let's try 15 nodes. 15 nodes. Clear the screen. Python 3, okay. So for 15 nodes, um, this is what we get. And that's the turtle trying to draw. So basically, every time the turtle draws, it uh, it fills a matrix. For those who were in class that day, there was a matrix on the board that I drew and I filled it out. We can look at the value of the matrix right here. So the turtle fills the the program fills the matrix in a certain way, and uh, I chose random letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Uh, for node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just for simplicity. You could make it more complicated by choosing, by naming each node, but that would be just too much. Uh, that's not really necessary. So that was for 15 nodes. We are going to try 19 nodes, and that, that will be it. Um, let's run the program one last time. And uh, the code is on GitHub. For those who are not familiar with GitHub, it's a, it's a website where you can uh, upload any code and make it available for people to be able to see what it is and maybe download it if they need to. So I had a lot of fun uh, trying to solve this problem. It was really fun. And I really enjoy every part of it. So the, the program is running. It is trying to make connect every node at least with every other node. And that's what we get. Now the only problem is that I would have, I would have loved for I would have loved to 
to have arrows on my on my arcs to show that they are in one direction but unfortunately it's not possible so i'm going to work on that maybe during the holidays and uh so thank you for watching the video you can shoot me any question you can email me or post if you post any question to the youtube video i will definitely respond thank you have a wonderful rest of your time